guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i want to start off by giving you guys my apologies for not uploading in three weeks during that time it was the beginning of my summer break so i went and traveled a bit and it was super fun and i hope you guys understand but i am here now and i am so excited i'm a little rusty because i haven't designed in around three weeks but you'll have to bear with me and yeah so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cute little dress with this little green cardigan covering it. And I thought this would be like a cute idea since it's like summertime and I know that's something I would be wearing during this time. So it's pretty easy and today I'm going to be using Metabang and I will be using the advanced template. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. As you can tell, I just opened up my advanced template. And so I'm going to add another layer, move it underneath everything. I'm going to go to this little color scheme here and select the color black for now. I'm going to make sure the size is on 1.8 or 2 or just around that little size. Obviously make the opacity 100 and make sure you're on pen or pencil. So I'm going to start off by making the outline for the dress. So it looks like it's not like a tank top, it looks more like a flowy type thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the shape brush tool, I'm going to go to the curve tool, and now I'm just going to make that same outline kind of. So I'm going to start on the left side here, click, 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 creating that little little outline like so. And so if you don't like where it's placed, you can go to the move tool and you can obviously just play around with it until you like where it's at. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the little shape brush tool. I'm going to make sure I'm still in the curve tool and I'm going to connect each side of the dress. Basically, I'm just clicking and just like clicking and dragging. Once you have like the top of the dress made, we are going to make like the bottom ruffles so where the dress ends and as you can see it's kind of like these dip lines here so we're going to recreate that look so i'm going to make sure i'm still on the shape brush tool and on curve i'm going to zoom in and we're going to focus in these like bottom squares and rectangles so i'm going to start at the corner here i'm going to start at the top because i want the dress to be a little more shorter i'm going to click 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 making kind of a dipped line here out click click and click so that part was kind of confusing but you basically just want to click and drag creating the line that you want and so now we're going to make lines on each side of like the bottom of the dress so here I'm just going to click making like these ruffles kind of do the same for the other side and now you can obviously do the back as well. All right, so for the straps, I'm then going to add a layer just in case I want to move it or personalize it at all. So you can debate on either using the curve tool or just the plain line tool on making the straps. I think I'm gonna go with the curve tool just to make it kind of a little more curvy lines instead of straight. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna simply just click making these little spaghetti strap lines. If you want to, you can go to the select tool and just select the access that's going past the black line here and just click backspace on your keyboard to delete it. Click anywhere. And if you don't like where it's placed, you can go to the move tool and just move it to wherever you want. And so now I'm going to go to the duplicate tool. I'm going to click control T on my keyboard. I'm going to flip that, click OK, and just put it on the other side. Once that is finished, you can go ahead and merge all the layers so it's in one big layer. And so now I'm going to go back to the shape tool and I'm going to make sure I'm on the curve tool again and just basically connect the straps. And so now we're going to go to the select tool and we're only going to select what's in the top box here. Once you have that whole square selected, we are going to click Control C on our keyboards to copy it. We're going to click anywhere. We're going to click Control V on our keyboards to paste the item. Go back to the move tool and basically just put it on the other side. 
And so once it is matched up perfectly, we're going to make sure we're on the select tool and select the access. Click backspace on your keyboard, click anywhere, and wha-bam. So now we are quickly going to merge the layer just once. So click merge layer. And so now we're going to fill in the dress. So I suggest making a new layer, moving it to the bottom of the outline layer. Select the color that you want your dress to be. I don't want it to be like a bright, bright white, so I'm just gonna move it down to make it a little darker. And so now I'm going to go to the bucket tool and I'm going to make the tolerance pretty high. And so now we're just going to click in the areas that need filling. So once you have the dress filled in with the color, we are then going to make sure we're on the outline layer. We are going to select a little darker white. It doesn't have to be like really dark. Just make sure you'll see a notice. And we're going to click protect alpha, go to the brush tool, make the size huge, and just color over the outline here. So I just added like a beige background so you could see it more better. But as you can see, our dress looks phenomenal. It looks so cute. But now we are going to go back to the little filled in dress layer. So the white colored layer. And now we're only going to select these two little boxes up here. Go to the little bucket tool and just click right in there like so. Go to the select tool, click anywhere and we'll bam. So now before we create the cardigan for the dress, I am going to add some shading to the dress. And to do that, I'm going to add a new layer. Make sure it's right above the little colored layer that we were just on. I'm then going to go to the little brush tool here. I'm going to change the size to 1.8. I'm going to change the color to black and I'm going to make sure I'm on the pen brush. So now I'm going to click the little settings for that and I'm going to click force fade in. I'm also going to make sure the correction is on 40 and I'm basically gonna go back to the reference and we're going to see how there's wrinkles everywhere. So there's kind of like wrinkles near like the <laughs> breast area. So we're going to basically mimic that first. So I'm just going to click and drag creating these lines like so where they should be. Just a heads up, I will be linking the link to this picture in the description down below. So if you want to copy the exact inspo, you can and it's there for you. So just a reminder, I'm basically just recreating these wrinkles on the dress. All right, so once that is finished, we are then going to go to Filter, Gaussian Blur, and then we're just going to blur it a little bit. You can click OK, and now we're going to make the opacity kind of lower so you can kind of see it less, but make sure it's still visible. So if you notice that the little black lines are coming out of the dress, you want to immediately erase those or else it'll look weird on your avatar. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more shading. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer. And so for this, I'm just going to make the little brush size a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go with 10. I'm going to go back to the settings of the pen brush and I'm going to click this little force fade in tool, making sure that the X isn't there and click OK. We're going to make sure we're on the crisscross snap and we're just basically just making lines on the side of the dress here. If you want, you can also do it around these squares up here as well. And now we're simply going to move the layer right on top of the colored dress layer. So basically the white layer and we're going to click clipping. And so now we are going to go back to filter, Gaussian blur, and then blur that thing. Play around with it until like you find it looks nice. Click OK and then play around with the opacity as well. Once that is finished, we are going to click snap off. And now we are going to concentrate on making the cardigan. So for this, we are going to add another layer and we're going to make it the top layer underneath the template layer. I'm going to change the size to 1.8, make sure the color is black. 
we're going to take a look at our inspo real quick so as you can see it's not really on her shoulders that much so we won't make it look large so we are going to start off by going to this shape tool brush we're going to go to curve start on the left side of the little front of the torso and I suggest like you have to kind of eyeball it you don't want to start like at the first pair of Christmas lights here because that would look large so kind of eyeball it and start like near the corner click making kind of a wavy line here at the bottom we're just going to click where that line ends and make a curved line so click and then add it to the side there now I'm just going to connect the side of the line here so I'm just going to click where that line ends and making kind of a wavy line. I'm now going to create the neck hole for the cardigan so I'm also going to click where that ends and this is kind of a tricky part but you're basically going to click, click upwards, click upwards, kind of joining into the middle. Now we're going to go to the select tool and only select the green pair of Christmas lights so only like the green here and whatever's inside of the selected box you're going to click backspace on your keyboard click anywhere go to the arrange tool duplicate and now click Control T on your keyboard click flip OK and just add it to the other side I'm now going to merge both layers so just click merge layer just once and now we're going to go back to the shape brush tool, make sure it's on curve, and basically just make a little ruffly kind of flowy line for the back. So once that is finished, we are going to concentrate on making the little sleeves. So basically you can make straight sleeves by using the line tool, but since I kind of want to make it kind of flowy, I'm going to use the curve tool and I'm basically going to follow the same concept, making a curved line. Same thing for the other side. So once that is finished, we are going to add another layer and we're going to move that layer underneath that little outline we just made. You're going to select whatever color you want the cardigan to be. I kind of want it to match the inspo, so I'm going to go for a mint green. Once you have the color you want, we're going to go back to the little bucket tool. Make sure the tolerance is pretty high. I'm going to go with 115 now and just fill in where the cardigan would be, you know? And now I'm gonna go back to the little outline layer and I'm going to select the color by clicking the eyedrop dropper tool, click the green and just go to the color sheet and make it a little darker. We're gonna click protect alpha on that layer, go to brush, make the size really big and just fill in like so. So now I'm gonna add a new layer making it underneath the outline layer. I am going to stick with the same dark green color, but change the size back to 1.8. I'm gonna go to shape brush tool, curve, and basically just mimic the little curved line here. And then same thing with the other sleeve, just mimic the line basically. And now we're going to fill that in with the same dark color. It's kind of hard to see, but try your best and just fill it in. And so now I'm gonna add some shading. So basically some wool lines. Um, I will link it in the description down below. So to add them, you're just gonna want to go to file, open the image as a layer. Mine's called shading lines. So I'm just going to open that. Go to the little move tool and then move it where you need the little lines here. And basically I'm going to fill in the whole little cardigan with the wool lines. So I'm gonna go to the move tool, duplicate it and just put it where it's not at. I'm gonna merge both layers. And basically I'm gonna go to the move tool again. I'm going to bring that layer right on top of like the green layer if that makes sense that's basically the layer where we filled in the cardigan and now we're going to click clipping now you're basically going to play around with the opacity making it kind of prettier <laughs> but make sure it's noticeable because you want it to look noticeable and so now i'm going to add more shading so i'm going to add a new layer making sure it's on top of the wool lines layer and now i'm going to go to the brush tool click crisscross snap, change the size to 10, 
go to the black and basically just make lines on the side of each little things here. I'm also going to add lines on the top of the rectangles here and the top of that as well. I'm then going to click clipping again and I'm going to go to filter, Gaussian blur, and just blur that to the amount that you want. I'm going to go with 9. I'm going to click OK. Go to blending mode and choose overlay. Play around with the transparency, the opacity, or whatever, if you don't like how it is. And now I'm going to add another layer. I am now going to make sure the color is white. I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger. I'm going to make sure the correction is on zero and turn the little snap off. And basically just make little circles in the middle here. And so now we're going to do the same concept by going to filter, Gaussian blur, and then making it the amount that you want. I'm also going to clip that and play around with the transparency as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the little buttons for the cardigan. So I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to bring it on top of everything. I'm going to go to the little eyedrop tool and then select like any type of green I guess. And we're going to make it like really darker so it's noticeable. I'm going to change the size to around 4-ish. I'm going to go to the brush tool. If 4 is too big for you, you can obviously change the size. And I'm going to make buttons on the side of the cardigan, so. Like so. Ta-da! You just made your little cute summer dress with a cardigan over top of it. I find this so trendy right now. It's so cute, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of sales for it. And so, if you want to transfer it onto a regular template, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm just going to quickly remove the beige background of it, making it transparent. I'm going to go to File, Save As, change the save type to PNG, name it whatever you want, save that, it's going to say something, and just click OK. Make sure it's on transparent PNG, click OK, go to File, Open, open that same thing that we just saved. <laughs> gonna say that just click OK we're gonna go back to file open and just open your regular template all right so this is kind of a tricky part but just follow the exact steps that I'm doing and we'll get it so basically we're just going to make it as a shirt for now because um, it won't work if we do the bottoms as well so I'm just going to go to the select tool and select only what's in the front of the torso. Don't involve the black lines though. Like so, click Control c on your keyboard, click anywhere, go to the template, paste it, and just put it where it's supposed to be, so the front of the torso would be there. Go back to the advanced template, and we're going to select the side of the torso, click copy, click anywhere, do the same thing, put it to where it should be. Do the same thing for the other one here. Do the same thing for the back here as well. We're gonna select the top of the thing here, copy it, go back, paste, and put it up there as well. And so now we're just going to do the sleeves, don't worry about the bottom of the dress. So I'm going to go back to the advanced template, select the sleeves. And just put it where it should be. You're just going to want to duplicate and like click Control T, flip, OK. Put it on the other one. Merge the layers. Click duplicate and just put it on the other side like so and now we're just going to merge both sleeve layers and just click duplicate click Control T on your keyboard flip OK and put it on the other side here now we're gonna go back to the advanced template go to select and select this little square here 
click Control C to copy, go here, paste, and then put it where the square should be. Click duplicate and put it on the other square. And well, bam! So now you're just going to save that. So go to file, save as, make sure it's on PNG. I'm just gonna name it like top of the outfit because that's the sleeves only. Save it, click OK, make sure it's on transparent PNG. OK, and now I'm just going to delete what's in like this part. So that's basically just the sleeves. So just delete all the layers involving the sleeves. And so now we're going to go back to the advanced template. We're going to select this huge rectangle. Copy that, click anywhere, go here, paste it and just put it on the bottom here. Go back. Same thing with the top of the sleeves, we're going to select the square, copy it, paste it and put it where and put it where it should be here. Duplicate, move it. And now just select one half of the ruffles for the bottom of the dress. So one half would be stopping at the green at the red pair of Christmas lights. Copy paste it here and put it to the right side. Now you're going to copy the other side of the bottom of the dress. So select it, copy, paste it and put it on the other side. Now you're just gonna go and select one side here, copy it and do the same thing. Add it to each side, place it there, duplicate, control T, Flip, okay, and then copy, control T, flip, okay. And now just merge those three layers. So it's just one big layer. Click duplicate, control T, flip, okay, and put it on the other side. So that would be the bottom of your dress. So just go to file, save as. I would just put bottom of the outfit save as png save and just upload it to roblox so the one including the bottom of the dress would upload it underneath the pants section and the one with the sleeves you would upload it underneath the shirt section i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a long one and i know it was it's pretty difficult but you have to practice to able to accomplish something. So I wish you guys so much luck and I hope you get it. And if you do get it, please message me on Discord and show me how it turned out. I would love to see it. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing summer. You guys deserve it. Go out, do something fun. And yeah, bye. I love you guys so, so much.